Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the most anticipated action RPG in recent years, Black Myth Wukong. Ever since it debuted with the jaw-dropping trailer back in 2020, the game has had the entire gaming community buzzing with excitement, promising a blend of stunning visuals, intense combat, and a greedy reimagining of Chinese mythology. Black Myth Wukong has a lot to live up to. And now that the game is finally out, did it live up to the hype? Let's find out. Let's start off with the obvious. Black Myth Wukong is absolutely stunning. From the moment you step into its mythological world, it's clear that the game was designed to leave a lasting visual impact. The environments are crafted with painstaking detail, pulling you into the Asian forests, towering mountains, and mythical temples that all feel alive with Chinese folklore. The developers have delivered one of the most visually impressive games of this generation, as every setting feels distinct with careful place in lighting that casts eerie shadows over the world, giving you a sense that is both awe and danger. Whether you're passing through mist-covered swamps or standing on the edge of a cliffside overlooking vast, desolated landscapes, the atmosphere is undeniably immersive and the character designs are just as exceptional. Drawn from Journey to the West, the game introduces a variety of bizarre and majestic creatures. From massive hulking demons to agile spear, war to agile spear warriors, each enemy and ally look intricately designed, with textures and animations to bring them to life in a way that rivals the best AAA studios. Black Myth Wukong plunges you into the dark and greedy reimagining of classic Journey to the West, as the game's narrative is steeped with Chinese mythology bringing to life a world filled with gods, demons, and mythical creatures. As the player, you step into the shoes of the Destined One, a mysterious warrior with the legendary staff of the Monkey King, Song Wukong. And the game isn't just about its looks, as the world of Black Myth is alive with danger, with enemies lurking around every corner, waiting to test your skills. But as beautiful as the world is, it can also feel strangely static. Despite the visual render, the game feels empty at times, and enemies respawn in the same places, giving the world a repetitive and predictable structure. There's a missed opportunity here to give players more freedom to explore, to find hidden secrets or side quests that can make the world feel more alive and dynamic. And when it comes to the gameplay, Black Myth Wukong positions itself as a souls-like, and for a good reason. The combat is tough, methodical, and demands precision from players. If you've ever played Dark Souls, Bloodborne, or Sekiro, you'll feel right at home here. But if you're coming into this expecting a fast-paced combo-heavy action game like Devil May Cry or God of War, unfortunately you're in for a rude awakening as the core mechanic of combat revolve around dodging, stamina management, and landing perfectly timed strikes. Armed with the legendary staff from Journey to the West, you'll need to carefully study your opponent's movements, waiting for the right moment to strike. The game bosses hit hard, and even regular enemies can tear you apart if you're careless. And here's the thing, there's no difficulty setting. The game forces you to master its mechanics, which will appeal to the hardcore crowd. Which will appeal to the hardcore crowd, but it's definitely not for everyone. At its best, the combat feels like a beautiful dance. You dodge at the right moment, counter with the heavy strike, immobilize your opponent with the spell, and finish off with the fury of attacks. There are moments where everything clicks and you feel like a martial arts master, gracefully weaving through attacks and punishing your enemies. Spells in the game play a crucial role in combat, at a much needed variety. From summoning clones of yourself to transforming into different enemies, the game gives you several magical tools to play with. And one of the most exciting aspects of the game is its ability to collect and summon spirits of defeated enemies. Almost like a Pokemon system. These spirits have their own unique abilities and can be used strategically in combat, which adds an extra layer of depth to the game. However, the combat isn't without its flaws. While the early hours of the game are exciting, the lack of weapon variety begins to show over time. You're essentially locked into using the staff throughout the game, with your only option for variety coming from different stances and spells, which can make the combat feel repetitive over time, especially in the longer boss fights, which tend to drag on and feel a bit tanky. And the stiffness in combat also becomes apparent as you progress, with certain bosses and enemies feeling like damage punches, making some encounters feel frustrating rather than rewarding. And again, I want to emphasize that the game is very difficult, so for newcomers to the Souls genre, unfortunately, I cannot recommend this game to you, as it can be very punishing. And the game's difficulty is exacerbated by the game's checkpoint system. Similar to Bonfires in Dark Souls, Black Myth has shrines where you can rest, heal and refill your healing gourds. However, resting spawns all enemies, so you're constantly forced to weigh the risk. Of course, it's a familiar mechanic, but the game doesn't offer the ability to recover lost experience points, like traditional soul spikes. This makes every death sting a little harder. And it's worth noting that there are some difficulty spikes. While many bosses and regular enemies can often be dispatched quickly, some of the main bosses act as giant roadblocks that can leave you stuck for hours. This uneven difficulty curve might frustrate those who prefer a more gradual progression in their games. And given that the game is based on the journey to the west, one of the most famous and beloved stories in Chinese literature, there was a lot of potential for rich and compelling narrative. However, this is where the game stumbles. The overarching story is largely forgettable, with thin character development and clunky dialogue that fails to make a strong impact. Each chapter of the game introduces new characters from Journey to the West, but the plot feels like an afterthought. You're essentially going from one boss to the next, with little motivation to care about the characters or struggles. So, 
Is Black Myth Wilcom worth your time? That depends on what you're looking for. If you're a fan of challenging Souls-like game and looking for something with a fresh setting and gorgeous visuals, Black Myth Wilcom is something I can definitely recommend. However, if you're not a fan of the genre's steep difficulty curve, or if you're looking for a game with a gripping narrative, this is definitely not the game for you. For me, the game is a 8 out of 10. And although it's not a perfect game, it's a game I can recommend to fans of Souls-like. If you've played the game, did you like it? Would you recommend it? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching till the end. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.